Nichols, remind us how this goes, partner. Okay, so in the past, we had sudden death. First team to score wins, but no longer. Now, if the team receives the ball, scores a touchdown, they win the game. If they kick a field goal, though, or don't score, the other team gets a possession. And after both teams get a possession, then we're into sudden death. First team to score wins the game. And now out come the Patriots. They control their own destiny here. They have the football in overtime. Obviously, a touchdown would win it. The league are still adjusting to the idea of the field scoring a touchdown wins the game because they were used to just going downfield and trying to get in field goal range to win a game. Still having to make that transition. Let's face it now. The ones who are doing it best know they need to go down, attack, put the ball in the end zone, and not leave it up to a field goal and give the other team a chance. Yeah, as we said, they control their own destiny now. First throw of overtime for Brady. And a hit jarred it loose. It's incomplete. So a second down incompletion now brings up third down. Brady going to try and throw on third down. Over the middle, that's taken in by Gronkowski. They only get two there, but on third and one, that's all they needed to keep the drive going. Would it be safe to say that as precise as routes are supposed to be run in the NFL, maybe they're not quite as precise in college ball? That's accurate, yeah. And I think we saw a college route in the NFL there. Just find the soft spot, find the dead zone, and find the first down. And that's what he just did. They give him 14 yards that time and a flash shut it down. And a nice little pass and catch there on the corner route. Set up very well by the receiver with a head and shoulder fake inside before he comes back downhill to his quarterback. From midfield, here's Brady. Oh, the ball comes out on the hit, but they'll say it's incomplete. Danny Amendola, that was the intended target. And it's second down. So incomplete on first. Let's see what second down has in store. It's a tried and true formula, and I don't think it'll change for as long as we play football. If someone's trying to throw the ball and you can put pressure on them and make it tough, that's only going to help your defense. Yeah, he's since being hurried. He got rid of it before taking the hit, but incomplete. And with that last play, he's now up over that 300-yard mark. And in today's NFL, it almost feels routine. And I hate that when you talk about a 300-yard passing game. To me, 300 yards still signifies excellence, and he's achieved that in this performance. 12 yards there as they move the chains. Almost not fair. The big guy running the corner route, being able to lean and push and get to where he wants. So how do you stop it? A lot of times you want to have a linebacker on him, a bigger body guy who can handle him physically. But a lot of times that doesn't work as well because his quickness often wins the route. Two yards on the pickup there. It'll be second and eight. That's a good play by the guys on the defensive side of the ball. Held him to a gain of two. And that changes the playbook a little bit now for the guy calling plays. Second and eight. Now he's got to probably think about going to the air instead of maybe staying with the ground game. Brady going to throw. And this is caught. It's Edelman. Six yards is the pickup, and that'll lead to a third down. That was a nicely run slant route, and what the receiver's trying to do is make the defender think he's going upfield for a deeper route and then breaks it off, usually after about three to four steps and cuts towards the middle of the field. And now what he's trying to do is use his body to keep the defender away from the football and get... Oh, and it's intercepted. A great read, and it's picked off. And a big turnover there as his guys will get the football back. Atlanta now coming out on the field. Their defense did its job, got the stop. All they need is three, and this is over. Couldn't have done much else other than score themselves and end it. But they turned it back over to him, and now all they need is a field goal to win the game. An excellent job by the defense. Can the offense finish things off? Yeah, part one is done. Now part two. First throw in overtime now for Ryan. They'll set up the screen for Freeman. A good first down call as the screen play gets him nine. For a second there, I thought that might break big. Screen pass. Looked like it was coming together. Looked like there was an opening. Still. Ended up with a solid game. On second down, Freeman. And they'll bring him down here right around the 17-yard line. It's a gain of four there, and it gives him a new set of downs. Second and one is often an invitation to take the big shot downfield. 
I bet the offensive lineman said, are you kidding? We just get on our backs and let's go get the first down. They love being physical. First down, Ryan. Sanu with a grab over the middle. And down he'll go at the 25. A good pick up there. Eight yards on the first down completion. And they're going to speed things up here. One of the selling points of the in route is it gives the quarterback a really nice sight line to his receiver and almost on a direction. Now whistles come in. We're going to get a timeout here by the offense. They'll be down to just one remaining as we step aside here in overtime. They'll throw on first down with Ryan. And no escaping this time as he'll go down. They got him for a sack. And plays like that really hurt play calling. They had a really nice gain on the previous play, but gave about half the yardage back on the sack. Excellent pressure up front. Nowhere to go with the football. Down he goes. On second down, Ryan. And incomplete there. A nice hit. Jars the ball free and brings up third down. Oh, man. For him to be that wide open and drop it, sometimes you have just too much time on your hands, right? You end up thinking way too much, and your hands get shaky. And, yes, he's a tight end, but that's a catch he should have made. Third and long. It's Ryan. And this one brought in by Sanu. They do get nine, but it leads to fourth down. Okay, so interesting here. A field goal would win this thing, but the kicking team on the sideline, and they're going for it on fourth down. The Falcons will go for it. It's Ryan. Finding Gabriel completes. 22 yards on the pickup there, and they're able to move the chains as they convert on fourth and long. They go play action here on first down. And Jones has it over the middle. And they get 28 yards on that one. And it'll be first down Atlanta. So here we go. Maybe the biggest kick of the game forthcoming. And he got it. The kick is good in overtime. He's able to split the uprights. Later, loser. You suck. He did not disappoint into overtime.